Our lives are made up of journeys, small journeys, big journeys. Journeys of the heart. Journeys of the mind. Journeys that sometimes take us to new frontiers. Ignition sequence start. Five, four, three. That fling open brave new worlds. Every day, all of us take another step to travel that unlimited road on our journey to a dream. حلمي اني احاول قد ما استطيع اني انمي اول شيء انمي ذاتي واذا نميت ذاتي بنمي طبعا الجروب اللي حواليني التيم اللي حواليني واذا نميت التيم اللي حواليني بنمي طبعا الشركه وبعدها دولتنا الحبيبه It is late afternoon in Alain A young assembly operator Nora Al Khalili prepares to leave her workstation. It is time for her to say goodbye to her colleagues. Because today, she is about to embark on an extraordinary and challenging journey to another country on another continent. Nora is excited and apprehensive all at the same time. She has never left the United Arab Emirates before and never lived away from her family. Nora knows that every challenge bears an opportunity, and she must be bold. She looks at the lights of Alain for the last time, knowing that tomorrow, this town will be just a memory. It is late afternoon at Mazdar Institute. A pioneering research project is underway in the labs. A determined 23-year-old scientist Ahmed al Harethi is looking into new ways to find alternatives to fossil fuel. Ahmed and his professor, Dr. Hector, believe that algae is the fuel and food of the future. Are we ready for tomorrow morning? Yeah, we got everything packed? Everything is fine. Make sure you read that because it talks about how we're collecting. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Dawn breaks, and Ahmed leaves the comfort of his home to drive into the desert to collect more samples of algae. He hopes to find a small green pond of water hidden in the world's largest sand desert. But a blanket of thick fog conceals everything, and the search for the elusive algae is to become even more challenging. It is mid-morning in Abu Dhabi. Jessica Hansen Al-Azri wakes up and writhes in agony. She knows that she has to suffer another day of immense and throbbing pain. Problems in her spine make it hard for her to do any normal activities. But every movement was painful. Every single movement. The pain in her back has been steadily worsening over the years, and it is crippling her. Recently, Jessica heard about the Wuradal Spine Center Today, she has an appointment with Dr. Chan Shik Shim. She hopes this world-renowned specialist will have a solution, and he will relieve her of this terrible pain. In Germany, in the industrious city of Dresden, a determined Emirati engineer, Reem Al Zaabi, leaves her flat and arrives at work in the world's second largest semiconductor company, Global Foundries. Every day, she appreciates the opportunity she has to be part of the company's advanced technological solutions. But it was her birthday last week, and suddenly, she is longing for home more than ever. 
Back in Elaine, her mother misses her. But she understands that her daughter is part of a bigger vision. A vision that began with Sheikh Zayed. A vision that has created opportunities for the women of the Emirates. A few years ago, the young women did not work in Elaine. Today, things are different and they are applying their skills in the region's first aero structure manufacturing facility and producing components used on the Airbus 380. Noura Al-Khalili is one of the first females in the Emirates trained to become an aircraft technician. Her job is to manufacture the flap track fairings, an important component of the aircraft wing. طبعا انا خريجه ثانويه عامه سمعت ان في شركه لتصنيع هياكل الطائرات وطالبين ثانويه عامه فطبعا فرحت كثانويه عامه في مجال اني اشغل اشتغل في تصنيع هياكل الطائرات فدخلت في هالمجال وطبعا اللي كانوا مسؤولين عن هالبروجرام حمسوني لهالشيء فالحمد لله توفقت احسب نوره عن عشرة عن عشرة ولا وقالت ابا انا بروح اسجل في هذه الشركه الاستيراد قلت له ولا يهمش انا بروح نفسي بودي اليوم بنتي بتسافر ايطاليا وانا فخور وفرحان اكبر فرحه بتروح انها دوره بنتي يوم تروح ايطاليا بشتاقه اثبت ويش ما حد بيسوي لي نادي نص الصباح باكي بحالك عساك طيب يا توبا ستني على راسي أركب السيارة قالت مع السلامة A family's support and encouragement empowers Nora to follow her dreams. Now she must bravely embrace the challenges of her career. She arrives in the ancient city of Brindisi, in the Adriatic Sea, and the adventure begins. This is the first time I was in Europe. تعلمت خصوصا في ايطاليا كيف الاعتماد على الذات، اهلي بعيدين عني ف... فاكيد شيء يعني تحدي أن كيف اتعامل انا مع نفسي واتعامل مع الناس وكيف اتعامل مع المشروع اللي الحين في دي... اللي الحين هو كتحدي لنا. استخدم حق تفضل. انت شو عندك؟ انا 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 عندي 1 2 3 4 الاكتيفيتيز اللي نسويه في ايطاليا نتعلم اللغه الايطاليه تعرفنا على عادات وثقافات هالشعوب وزرنا مناطق اثريه وسياحيه رائعه. It is in the factory of Brindisi that Nora will acquire essential skills and gain knowledge about advanced composite materials and structural engineering. في نوع من التحدي قاعدين نتحدى شركات قديمة في إنتاج الطائرات فإن شاء الله نحن نكون قدها بنعلم شبابنا وبناتنا كيفية إنتاجية هالقطع أنا فرحانة لدرجة أني ما أتصور لأن طبعاً الشركة أعطتنا فرصة أن ننمي مهاراتنا في مشاريع ثانية وفرحانة جداً أني بساهم وبيشوفون تاجية وطنية Back in Elaine, Nora's father eagerly awaits his daughter's homecoming. 
It has been three months since she left him. He's been counting the days, and he is now beside himself with excitement. Life seems to have come full circle for Nora. The journey ends where it began some time ago. And now a new journey commences. It is with anticipation that she looks forward to taking her new position at Strata, where they say, the sky is the limit. The new generation of Emiratis determine a story of courage as they push new frontiers. But their story is a tale of opportunity. Two years ago, global foundries in Germany selected Reem El Zaabi to do an internship in Germany. They were soon impressed by her abilities and her eagerness to learn, and they offered her a full-time position. من بنات الإمارات اللي شقوا طريقهن أنها تبى توصل يوم من الأيام لمستوى نفتخر فيه أثناء التحاقها في الثانوية العامة صارت أنها تدخل علمي لأن هي بسم الله عليها كانت ما شاء الله عليها يعني العلمي ميولها في آخر السنة لي في الجامعة كنت مرة من ال engineering path وكان في stand مكتوب عليه النخبة summer internship ل global foundries at Dresden Germany so I was like Reem you should go and check this وصلنا دريسدن Germany دخلنا المصنع طبعا كانت ردة الفعل كانت يعني كنا مبهرين من التكنولوجي من الأوتوميتد اللي شفناه شفلز are going around it's like يعني أنت في 2030 يعني شيء إنه كله كله بالسيستم كل شيء روبوتكس الإنسان بس يعني خلال السيستمز واللي مشي الروبوتات هذه خذنا لفة في المصنع وقلت في نفسي ريم هذا هو المكان اللي أنت تبين تكونين فيه هذا هو المكان اللي أنت قدراتك الأشياء اللي تعلمتيها في الجامعة الإلكتريكال إنجينيرينج هني أريد أريد أطلعها
كل مرة أجي هني أم... نفسيتي وايد تتعب إنه مش مش سهلة على بنت يعني متعودة إنه تكون بس وسط أهلها وسط إخوانها أم... وسط الناس اللي تحبهم إنه تفاركهم فكانت دايما في صعوبة يوم أجي هني كل مرة أجي الوالدة تقول لي ريم إذا أنت ما تقدرين يكفي ارجعي بس اقولها اقولها مايا انت كنتي قدوة لي انت اثبتي نفسك في البلاد وبرا البلاد هذا وقتي انا الحين اني انا ارفع راسك هذا وقتي انا اني اكون سفيرة البلاد داخل برا هذا وقتي ان اشوف أشوفك أنتي وأشوف أبوي وأشوف أخواني فخورين بي لأني أنا كنت متعودة دايماً هي ريم معاي بس إن شاء الله هي في مكان أنا أفتخر أن بنتي هناك وتأدي واجب وطني والله بيردها إن شاء الله It is five past two in the afternoon in Dubai. The world-renowned spinal surgeon, Dr. Chan Shik Shim, prepares himself for an operation in the theater. He is about to perform minimally invasive spinal surgery on Jennifer Hudson Al Azri. It has taken him 15 years to perfect this technique. In 2011, Dr. Chan Shik Shim left South Korea and moved to Dubai to work in the Wuradal Spine Center. This venture was to be a partnership with Mubadala Healthcare, addressing the high prevalence of spinal problems in the UAE region. So I saw the doctor, and he agreed it did need surgery to improve. I was confident about Dr. Shim immediately. Jennifer believes that this doctor will relieve her of the pain that has crippled her for so many years. The minimally invasive surgery involves a small tube and a laser, removing portions of spinal disc pressing on her nerves. The operation went smoothly and the hospital stay was great as well. But it was a two-day stay in the hospital. And immediately the next day, I was up straight, walking, no pain. It's changed my life from not having a life to, to basically being able to do everything I did before. Within two days, you don't have that pain anymore at all. It's just indescribable. The journey to health in the United Arab Emirates is a story of innovation. And the journey to innovation is also the path to the future. A pioneering student, Ahmed al Harethi, involved in algae biofuel research in the Mazdar Institute of Science, is leading the way. Ahmed and his professor, Dr. Hector, are on a quest to find more samples of a new strain of algae that they need to source in an elusive pond. <laughs> but the mist blankets the desert sands, and Dr. Hector is losing his sense of direction. This particular morning, he is discovering that the challenges of the desert can be simply overwhelming. Ahmed changes direction, and they speed off into the gray dawn hoping that the mist will lift. Yeah, I saw the we can't get there, but it's closed, so yeah. we have to go up. Um. Dr. Hector is particularly fearful about being swallowed into sinking sand, and he cautiously tests the ground. 
Ahmed advises his professor to access the murky water from the other side. Because for Dr. Hector, although he is the professor, there are many lessons to learn. Should be careful, sir. As the saying goes, in learning you will teach, and in teaching you will learn. Yeah, I figured I went down the wrong way. Coming to Mazar for me was a really, really interesting trip and it really changed my life. Um, I was brought here to work on trying to look at biological ways to harness energy for sustainability and reuse. We're doing things that you can't do in other parts of the world that I couldn't do in other parts of the world. Algae out here has the ability to live in conditions that no other algae in the world can. Ahmed and I had been working in the laboratory talking about how we're gonna go out and get algae species out of the environment. And I showed up one day and Ahmed had four different specimens for us to try to grow in the lab. The day I found it, I was just driving here, playing around with the car, doing bashing with my friends. When we came here, we looked at it, oh, it looks green. There might be something in it. We saw the dead camel, so we said, yeah, he might have died from because of this water's dirty, something wrong with it. But after we looked at the water under the microscope, there was only one species or two species. One of them was algae, and there's no way that camel died from it. So that's an interesting topic to research. So we're really excited about this algae strain that we found in the desert because it has incredible potential. So you're talking the potential to feed a lot of people. You're talking the potential to use it as a fuel base for airplanes, for cars, for kerosene oil for your house. So that means that we're actually taking something that's here and helping put it out in the world to solve real world problems. The desert always ends up getting it. That was a morning, wasn't it? Three cars got stuck, including me. We got samples, we got stuff, and we are back to work. Mazdar Institute, the work that's going on is breaking field using science and engineering to deal with the problems that we're gonna face in the future. My uh, ultimate ambition here in Mazdar is to build on, on, the, on the great work that have, have been done and, and the great achievements of the previous generations of Emiratis. So for our generation, I think it's our turn to make, to make the move and to ignite the, the shift to, uh, towards sustainable energy. المرأة الإماراتية مو مكانها بيتها بس هي قاعدة هي إنسانة قيادية تربي الأجيال أبدعت في تربية الأجيال والآن تبدع في بناء المجتمع أبويا زايد عرفوا العالم كله بفعالة طموحة بخيرة هالوقت بفعالنا طموحنا شغفنا نقول حق العالم كله نحن بنات زايد هذا وقتنا نحن بنات زايد الرد الجميل اللي اعطانا يا ابونا The journey of a nation began with Sheikh Zayed who wanted to build his country and create leaders This was the vision for Mubadala an investment company whose mission was to create value. Value that would not only be measured in facts and figures, profits and shares, but in the way it touched people's lives, uplifting them, connecting them, shaping them and changing them. In small villages, in little towns, and growing cities across the globe, this is the journey of Mubadala. The journey of a few young people is the journey of a company, is the journey of a nation. Because success is not a place at which we arrive. Success is the spirit with which we continue the journey. And for each and every one of us, the journey begins today.